本日は第37回東京国際映画祭アニメ新規ポジションアニメーション監督として、東京インターナショナルフェスティブ、エフェスティブ、TIFF アニメーションシンポジアム、マイネーム、フジタリオタ、ウィオーソン・ハブ・アダハン・ソーカさん、フルエスコンティブ・イディン・タープター・フォー・コリアン。まずですね、そしてゲストの皆様にご登壇いただく前に、私の方からご紹介いただきたいと思います。私の方からご紹介いただきたいと思います。私の方からご紹介いただきたいと思います。私の方からご紹介いただきたいと思います。私の方からご紹介いただきたいと思います。私の方からご紹介いただきたいと思います。私の方からご紹介いただきたいと思います。Well, and that's the reason why we chose this set theme. Now,、uh, with no further ado, let us welcome our guests to the stage. Please give them a big round of applause. We have a director of Flow, Mr. James e j u b a l d i s We have a director of Gil, Mr. a n j e f f e n Director, Thomas Ricardo Espira. The creations of other directors. Well, we thought that it is appropriate to have him join in this symposium. And Mr. Gens, would you please give us your remark?、Um, hello,、uh, I'm Gens. I directed Flow. I'm really glad to, to be here、uh, to present this film to the Japanese audience. We already had a great screening a few days ago, and、uh, I'm glad that、uh, Flow will be、uh, shown in March in cinemas in Japan. ありがとうございます。では続いて、ま、アンジェフン監督お願いします。今日、この場所に来ていただきました。今日、この場所に来ていただきました。今日、この場所に来ていただきました。今日、この場所に来ていただきました。今日、この場所に来ていただきました。今日、この場所に来ていただきました。今日、この場所に来ていただきました。今日、この場所に来ていただきました。I hope you can hear me. Well, at this time, I believe that many of, I'm seeing you, for the, many of you,、uh, I'm seeing many of you for the past time. I'm very much happy to see you all. Well, I am creating、uh, the Korean animation. I look forward to talking about that to the people here. Thank you. Thomas. Uh, hi, my name is Tomas Pichardo, and I'm from Dominican Republic. And this is my first feature, Olivia and the Clouds, and I'm very excited to be here. It's also my first time in Japan. And tonight we're going to be screening the film for you. And it's a mixed media playing with different techniques from hand drawn to digital. So thank you. Thank you very much for that. And Mr. Yoshi Yoshiura, please. Well, I am an animation director. My name is Yoshiura. For the first, well, I am the only one who does not have any film exhibition at the, at the film festival. But I have really loved the overseas animation from before. So, as a fan, I look forward to giving questions to the three directors here with us. Thank you very much. So,、uh, the title of this session is A Road to Becoming an Animation Director. So, first, I would like to ask、uh, what made you think that you want to live as an animation director?、Uh, why did you want to become an animation director? So, let's start from Gins. So,、uh, when was it that you decided to become an animation director as your job?、Um, well, I wanted to make films.、Um, And I did some live action short films as well with some friends when I was a kid. But 
uh, I felt very restricted. I couldn't do, tell the kind of stories I wanted to tell. But with animation, I had the freedom to make fantastical stories, but also uh, have more time to kind of explore ideas. So you chose 3D CG, not drawing. Uh, what, was there any particular reason? Um, I did some uh, hand-drawn short films. Uh, and I did go to our art high school, basically. We had some drawing classes, but I wasn't very good at drawing. And uh, so my drawings were very simple. And I wanted to use the camera as a storytelling tool. So that's why I decided to learn 3D to kind of use these long uh, takes. <laughs> Uh, in flow, there are some shots which are almost five minutes long, and that would be, I guess, impossible to draw. So, when you started to make animation, did you immediately notice that it was fun, interesting? Yes, I, I enjoyed it because I, also I think my personality is better suited for animation. I like uh, to be kind of alone with my thoughts and make stuff and not have a hundred people asking me what to do. Uh, eventually, on Flow, we did have a big team, but at least uh, it's not as hectic or stressful, I think, as a live action film. Thank you. Question to Mr. Anjou Fan. What made you want to create an animation? I was born in a very small village. I was born in a very small village. 음악이라는 거, 영화라는 것을 알게 되었는데. Well, as for myself, when I used to be small, I used to live in a rural area. Therefore, rather than at the films I was into uh, the nature, and I used to spend time reading novels. But when I grew up and I moved on to uh, the cities where I started uh, to touch at the movies and music. 근데 만나게 된 애니메이션은 그 안에 그림도 음악도 영화도 자연도 모든 게 들어 있어 가지고 어 너무 음 가슴 뛰는 일이 되어서 그것이 이제 제 직업이 되게 되었습니다. 네, 또 and then one of the animations that I've encountered was it included everything from poems and the music and so on, which made me interested in animation. 있는 거를 좋아하는 게이 직업을 좋아하기도 하고 오래 할수 있는 또 장점이 된것 같습니다. 또 다시와 또 마치게니 좋아하는 것들을 배우고 또 같습니다. 아, 그러니까 uh, I wanted to be I wanted to do live action. I wanted to be a director of feature films and uh, with people with people and everything. And in in my country, we don't have an uh, industry of animation. We don't have uh, that culture of animation. So when I finished high school, there was no animation school, and at that point, there were no film schools. So I, uh, because I wanted to continue doing something creative, I went to art school. And in art school, I was still doing by my by my side. I was doing a little few uh, videos, short films, and things. And then with with the art, I was mixing that those two elements together. And there was a point where they start mixing, where my idea of making film and what I was learning with art start mixing into animation. And there were moments where. I wanted to film uh, things, but I was very shy. I was, it was difficult to me to connect with actors or to connect with people, like to say my friends, oh, you should act in this scene. So I was doing it by myself or on the computer or by drawing it. So my films, even if I wanted to be, uh, be a live action director, it started to have more animation elements. And there was a point that it became full animation. So. 
ミュージックビデオなどもを作られてるんですけど、so、挑戦しようと思ったのは何か理由があったか、so、first film a feature film?、Uh, I, I, I directed a, a few music videos and it's because I like the freedom that they have. It's mostly because of my background in fine arts that it makes me play around and experiment with techniques. And there was a point where I was doing all that that I realized, oh, I wanted to do longer features. I wanted to do longer、uh, films. And that idea of making a feature start growing. And one of my closest collaborators is the musician of the film, of Olivia and the Clouds. And We've been doing、uh, sequences of animated elements where I do visuals and he d o music. So we've been playing around with that. So at some point we decided, oh, let's make a feature, let's add, let's add all these elements, let's add a story to it, and then add elements of music. So it was a natural progression. Thank you very much. Yoshi Ura, how do you feel about it? はい。Well,、uh, that was around the time、uh, there was、uh, the role that had been established, which would enable us to move on to the profession,、uh, professional. And by the time I noticed, I happened to become the director.、Uh, so、uh, by the time you realized, I think you ended up making、uh, the longer feature films. Well, were you able to cope up with the changes? I think、uh, the span of the time necessary for you to think is going to be different between the short ones and the longer ones. Uh, yes, uh, 25 minutes、uh, was the length of the film that I have created on my own,、uh, which was very、uh, much cumbersome for,、uh, to do it on my own. So I decided、uh, to increase the number of stuff so it became closer to commercial、uh, animation production.、Uh, but it's not、uh, that my style is. Completely the same as the commercial production style. Basically, I am, well, while I'm adopting or increasing the number of the stuff I'm into controlling on my own, therefore, it's half as or semi independent film style. I try to do what I'm able to do, so it is sort of like music bands. I see, I see. Thank you very much. What Mr. Yoshioda just mentioned about、uh, one thing. Well, upon creating animation,、uh, the efforts、uh, of a tons of people would be required. And that was one of the reasons why not many countries were into creating、uh, the feature films. But the situation is changing quite rapidly. So, in that sense, how, how many people would be required、uh, for creating an animation? I think it's going to be quite important. So, Kins,、uh, you mentioned that、um, it's better to have fewer、uh, number of people in the team, but when you produced a way, you were、uh, all on yourself、uh, and in flow.、Um, Did you have any changes、uh, in the team structure, or were there any events that affected how you think about the, the production? Yes, this was the first time I worked with a team, and, and for me, it felt like a very big team. But if you compare it to like, big American studios, it's actually a very small team.、Um, and I wanted to maintain the way I used to work before. And with Away, I didn't make any storyboards, I designed the shots directly in 3D. And even though I could have hired storyboard artists and flow, I decided to use the same technique because I need to kind of go through that process to discover ideas. It's sometimes easier for me to show、uh, the shot I have in mind than to explain it to other artists. And、uh, for me, making the animatic is almost like another draft of the script. I keep changing the scenes or、uh, taking some scenes out. And so it's a very creative process. I think. Because I also wrote the script and I'm adapting it into images, I can have more freedom 
if someone else would have written it, maybe the artist who creates the images might have to stick more, uh, be more confined to them and, and to follow the script more closely. Um, yeah, it was quite stressful for me uh, um, because uh, for the first time I was responsible for the team uh, before I could wor work at my own pace and uh, uh, work on only one scene at a time. But this time I had all these people always asking me questions about different scenes. So it was sometimes difficult to co constantly change my thinking about, uh, I had to think about a hundred scenes at the same time. Well, that said, uh, when you try to produce a longer film, uh, it is inevitable that you need to work with a larger number of people. But if you were to produce a uh, next film, uh, do you think you will maintain the same size of the team? Uh, are you comfortable with the team that you have worked on, uh, Flo? Yes, uh, my plan is to something do something similar. I know sometimes when a director has a success, they end up making a much bigger film. Uh, but I think then you might uh, risk losing some of the control. And I think when you work at this size of a team that we had on Flow, I had the complete freedom to tell a very specific personal story and to make it in a very uh, unique way which is, I think, what also people resonate with, with this film. So we are allowed to make bigger risks and experiment more. And, uh, and yeah, so flow could only be done with a team. A way was kind of designed around things that are easy to do, but with flow we had so many technical complications, like too many, so many more characters. And there's so much water, which in animation is one of the hardest things to do. And, uh, and I also wanted the animation to be, I think the animation is much better because we had uh, so many people who are better than me. I, I can animate, but I'm not the best animator, so I wanted to work with people who are better than me. Then I'd like to move on to Thomas. So uh, you spent 10 years to complete the film. But if this was a larger project, do you think you uh, were able to finish it early? You were working with the minimum number of people, I guess, but um, do you aspire to work with a bigger team in the future? Well, when I when I first started doing the, the feature, I came to doing animation shorts, and most of them I was doing it by myself. And I want for this feature, I wanted to have uh, a local crew, and because my country doesn't have that industry of animation, I, I realized that I have to train people. So I was I went to a film school and I was teaching animation to that to, in that school. And in that process, I realized that some of those students could be, become part of the team. And they eventually did. Uh, we built a small team of 15 people. And another thing that we realized is that uh, all of them came from different backgrounds, from different ways of animating. So we couldn't have a cohesive animation throughout, like one style. And what we decided was like each of them incorporate their own style, each of them incorporate their own ideas, their own visuals to the film. And it fit right with the story because the story has different points of view, different uh, characters interpreting the same memories very differently. So we added that into, into the animation. Uh, I, 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 didn't, I don't think uh, if I had a bigger team, it would have taken me uh, less time uh, because it was a process of also understanding the story, also understanding how to animate it. That project is a very hybrid project. It has a lot of mixed media, so it takes time to understand it. And during the first years, it was just me by myself trying to figure out the story, try to figure out how I can tell this story from different perspectives. And the, the other years was also incorporating the animators and then bring their own style and trying to understand how each style can be combined with each other. So if I'd done that project 
in less than 10 years, in let's say the first three years, it would have been totally different. Maybe it wouldn't have been like a proper film or a good film, but I think this, the, this amount of time was enough for it to develop and to grow into what it is now. Anu. So the storyboard, uh, did you first complete the storyboard uh, and then um, started animation or uh, did you um, separate them into um, uh, small blocks, um, maybe uh, create a storyboard and then do the animation for a small portion and then repeat that process? Well, the way I work is very intuitive. Uh, I, because of the fine arts background of coming from art, art school, uh, I Let's say I have a script. It was like a very general script, but then throughout those 10 years, it was, cha it was changing throughout. Uh, maybe I have a storyboard of how I thought at that moment the, the movie could look. Maybe I start making an animatic of how all those elements could look. But then when all the people got integrated into the film and brought their own ideas, uh, it starts slowly changing and also leaving my life throughout those 10 years, I added more personal elements, uh, the way I thought uh, about my life or about life itself. 10 years ago is very different from five years ago, so those elements changed in the story. And also we recorded the voices at the end, and when the actors came, the voice actors came, their own way of talking, their own way of expressing things also changed elements in the story. There was a moment at the beginning of this year that we deleted a full character and we changed a few sequences. So it was changing throughout the entire production. Question to you, Mr. Anjefen. I'd like to Anjefen. Well, uh, you have established a studio. You're on at the studio. A titled a studio meditation with a pencil, meaning that, in, uh, that uh, leads to the involvement of many, many staff members. How do you integrate or uh, set the direction for all the people? How do you take over the control of that? Animation 자기도 이렇게 막 헤매는 부분들이 가끔가다 있는데요. Well, upon making animation, what I think is the most difficult thing is that director has a certain thing in his or her mind and conveying that to other people actually was the hardest thing. 있는 이미지를 스태프들한테 어떻게 설명하고 또 스태프들이 그 감독이 찾지 못하는 부분들을 발견해내서 자꾸 전체에 녹이고. 이런 과정들을 계속 반복하면서 신신이 만들어지고 있는 것 같고요. What's in the mind of the director would have to be conveyed to the staff members and how the director would incorporate the thoughts of the staff members. I was always thinking about that and I tried to take communication and over and over in order to realize that. That's what I do. 그림이 좋아서 애니메이션을 한 사람들이라 이렇게 회의실에 모여가지고 아 미팅을 하자 이러면은 말들을 잘안 하고 단편 단편으로 지나가면서 이야기하고 이렇게 짧은 대화 시간을 계속 가져가면서 조각 조각 맞춰가지고 큰 그림을 그 그려내는 방식으로 하고 있습니다. And, well, I'm into uh, drawing pictures, and all the staff members do love uh, drawing the pictures. That's the reason why they join. Therefore, but they're engaging in long conversation. What we do is just focus on to the things in front of us. We would have a discussion on that and try to make a decision one by one. That's how we proceed forward. Well, in my case, when there is a comment being made by uh, the staff members, well, whether uh, I'm going to adopt that idea or not, that doesn't really matter. I always try to write a letter in order to provide the staff members with the feedback in regards to their comments. Well, are you interested in making the films in your own with a small circle? 
with a small number of people. Are you interested in doing so? ギルそれでは、ワーキングオンアドフィルムアバディクリーシングアナンバーオブドフィルムアイウッライトゥ、アイシンカスハウアイウッビーエイブルトマキシマイズアザインエフェクティブウィスザミニマムナンバーオブド
Anyone? Uh, what about you, Mr. Gins? Um, I think in case of flow, I was uh, very influenced by the works of Alfonso Coron. Uh, he's known for the very long shots he does, but not just that, but also I like that there's multiple layers uh, happening within the frame. You see something in the foreground, but also there's a, another story happening in the background, and you have to, the shot is really wide, uh, with wide angle lenses, and the audience can decide for themselves where to look at, and, uh, and you have to like, maybe you will not catch everything at the first try, on the first watch, but then watching it again, you'll notice some details, so I did want to leave some clues for the audience and let them think about what happened in this world before this story or what happens next. And, and I like how the camera can be almost like another character. It's kind of, uh, for the most part in, in flow, it's kind of creating this subjective point of view. Uh, it makes you feel like you are this cat in this film. You, you're experiencing the story uh, very close from the cat's point of view. But sometimes the camera is kind of uh, distracted by something or looks away and uh, is influenced by the elements of the water or the wind can kind of sweep away the camera. And I think it creates this very immersive feeling, uh, which uh, I, I haven't seen done much in animation. I feel like it can be very expressive. Ano. So when you were young, well, even from um, uh, uh, when you uh, didn't even produce a film, were you strongly affected by live-action live films? Yes, I was. Uh, my, my dad used to show me a lot of uh, classic films when I was quite young. And maybe I didn't understand them entirely, but I was really fascinated by them. And I watched a lot of... Um, Kubrick and uh, Kurosawa and uh, Sergio Leone and uh, Hitchcock and Spielberg as well. Uh, and the way that they used camera and the editing uh, in a very expressive way. And it's not just the standard kind of close-up, close-up wide shot. There are many different ways of kind of using camera and editing to tell the story. Thank you very much. Yeah. Are you, uh, Mr. Anjef, what heavily influenced you? Okay. So the question is, what um, influenced your work, Mr. Anjef? Well, when I used to be small, I was into reading poems, and my parents used to uh, scold at me. Well, I used to be small, I was into reading poems, and my parents used to scold at me. And I was into poems, I used to write poems, and with that I was able to well, uh, uh, see uh, that there is uh, the impressive stories amongst uh, even uh, the ones that do not have their lives on their own. 내 안에 일어나는 감정들 이런 것들도 음, 도움이 많이 된것 같고요. At the same time, I fell in love with someone. Was one way when I used to be the student, and I think I was able to express my feeling about them very well with the poem. 정말 경험할 수 없는 많은 풀들과 자연의 현상들 이런 것들이 조금씩 조금씩 쌓이고 그것을 표현해낸 위대한 화가들의 그림을 보면서. And at the same time, visually speaking, I, I was raised uh, in a rural area, therefore I was surrounded by rich nature. And at the same time, well, I uh, also enjoyed uh, the works of the famous uh, creators as well. 
그 사람이 먹은 음식으로 이루어진다고 하는데요. 음식. 私はえっと人の体はえっとあのえっとあ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ
That's the kind of feeling that I even have now. Uh, so in that sense, I uh, will uh, 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 sing a bit of the harmony and also at uh, uh, the time of the eve. I think I could see uh, the traces of Asimov. Yes, I, I, I guess you can say so. Well, in relation to that, for example, uh, the things like the werewolves or uh, those kind of classic or the orthodox ones. Well, for example, well, for some reasons, I'm into those uh, the original uh, the works as well, and I'm uh, in, into those films. Well, it sounds as if I'm into big rated movies, but that's not really the case, really. Well, so you are uh, trying to redefine uh, uh, the values, and uh, that's where you find uh, the things to be interested in. That's the yes, but you see, in, in the back, well, it's a very Japanese animation. Well, well I created uh, the film, uh, the Patema Inverted. Uh, so it looks familiar, uh, but well, as you can see, uh, uh, well, the character is inverted, so I really wanted to create something unusual, even though it looks familiar. Now I have a question. So, are there anyone uh, here who would like to direct questions to uh, the, uh, the other directors, if there are any? Well, Yoshiura san, please. Well, I have a, I'm into uh, the works of Mr. Gins, for example. I'm into uh, the way as well. At this time, I watched uh, your film, uh, The Flow. Well, there were no words, and I could see uh, that the cameras uh, uh, were used for long hours. So I think that was kind of movie that could have be, that could not have been created with the storyboard. Maybe a director, well, starting from the animatics, maybe you, a director may have uh, created that on your own. Is am I correct? Were you the only one that created uh, the animatics? Uh, I, yes, I, I did the animatics myself because. Uh, uh, I, I don't know where I'll end up with. Sometimes I start designing a shot and it ends up being five seconds long, but sometimes I keep adding and adding and it ends up five minutes long. And uh, sometimes it doesn't work when it's so long, but because I've made it as one big piece, I can then later cut it up in smaller pieces if necessary. So I don't want the technique to like, be the most important part. The story uh, is more important. So in some cases, these long shots didn't fit this moment. I had to cut them up. Uh, but for me, yeah, it's uh, really important. It's how I make decisions while doing that animatic. And then I can show it to other people. And I'm also editing it with the music because I have the music before uh, production. And uh, it's also hard to show my, like it's hard to describe the music and it's much easier just to show uh, what I mean. And, uh, and I don't have to use temp music from other films. Uh, I know uh, sometimes uh, people tend to use that, but I, I don't like this technique because you end up just copying something else. And, uh, but yeah, I do the animatic in 3D and, and like it's uh, because the perspective changes so much, you can't draw it, and uh, and it's actually one of my favorite parts. It's where I feel really creative. I can kind of uh, be very spontaneous, and uh, and it's almost more like a live action or a documentary film where it's important that I have this freedom, that I can uh, make big changes, but after that's finished, we have to be quite precise because I don't want to waste time or resources because we don't have really that option. I know in some bigger Hollywood films, they tend to change the story very late in the process, but we didn't have this. Uh, and uh, so I had to be very precise and we didn't have any deleted scenes. Uh, sometimes uh, when you need to like, when you realize something is not working, uh, it's too late to fix it with animation. So sometimes I might have to fix it with sound or with the music or with the lights because the animators are al al already left, so we can't make any changes. So sometimes you can use other tools to fix these problems. 
Thank you. Uh, one thing to add, animatics, well, we are using the word animatics. Uh, this is about a process of uh, creating 3D CG image. Uh, camera work and characters' uh, main actions um, are uh, put into certain timings. Uh, and after that process, uh, we do animation. Uh, so making the characters um, uh, move more like uh, the animation that you typically see. But before that, we have that animatics process, which is very important. Uh, do you have any a question to a particular director, or uh, maybe uh, you might have questions to all the directors? Mm. <laughs> well, I've already had a lot of talk uh, back there. And I've already had discussion uh, with Mr. Thomas as well. Mr. Thomas, I have a question to you, if I may. Well, in the Dominican Republic, you created the feature film. I would like to know uh, the production environment in your country. Uh, well, the process of making animation in my country is very difficult because the is now that they are understanding how these kind of films are made. They're used to more, let's say, traditional kind of animation, where is, is what they have seen throughout their entire life of what they know about animation culture. So in my animation, I have elements that are shot in Super 8 or 60 millimeters, and I added animation on top. And to uh, to ask for grants or to work with the uh, with the funds that the government give uh, for it to to receive those, I have to uh, say what I was doing in the animation. And when I mentioned I'm shooting in Super 8, and I had in this, uh, they were very confused as to like, wait, but you're making an animation. Why you are shooting in Super 8? Why you are shooting in 60 millimeter? And I had to explain that. So. In, it's not only with getting funds and grants, it's also with working with the team that I had no experience, that I've never done animation before. So it's a process of not only making the film, but also teaching them how uh, that type of animation work, how to make that process and everything. And you also mentioned uh, animatic. And with the animatic, I have, uh, because the animation in this feature has elements that are more abstract. Uh, there are sequences that follow the animatic through, and you can, in all the animators, they were following that through the point, but then in other moments uh, that are more abstract, I have to say, I have to forego the animatic and say to them, uh, express a feeling or something specific, like this sequence has to express this idea. And, and it was mostly like treating the animators as performers, as actors, so they were, incorporating that into the film and they were interpreting feelings into the film so it was a, it was not a traditional production in the sense it was just playing around with what i knew what i learned through time and what they could bring so it was a process of everyone trying to understand how to make a film in animation in in my country and in this kind of production then. Mr. Gint, well, in the past, well, you have at visited the studio in Korea before. Time, we, got, we wanted to have a variety of conversation, but because of the language problem back then, I was not able to have lots of conversation with you. And at that time, at the Mr. Kint, well, uh, you, uh, I was able to have you teach me about a variety of things. Well, at Mr. Gintz, I have a question to you. Well, in your country, I would like to know how do you get the staff members and how, and how do you formulate uh, the staff members in your production team? 
Um, yeah, it's uh, there's a very small industry in Latvia, so uh, yeah, we had to basically teach people. There are people who are very technically proficient, but they're not used to working in bigger productions. They they usually work by themselves on very small projects. So we all had to learn it, uh, including me, how to work together on a bigger project and. Uh, uh, it was really strange because I've never worked in a studio as an animator and now I had to be in charge of, of this team. And I think, yeah, maybe we did make some mistakes, but it also allowed me to kind of find a unique way of making stuff and uh, maybe we could skip some steps which were not necessary for this type of film. We're not just trying to follow the standard formula of making films. and and. Um, and yeah, we have actually, considering how small Latvia is, we have a pretty strong tradition of animation, but most of it, it's hand-drawn or stop-motion animation. And uh, every film is very different, so we don't have like one unified style. And, and there's not that much uh, computer animation uh, tradition. And even Flow is such a unique and strange film, so we had to I had to kind of convey my intention to everyone. Um, but still, the team was pretty small. Uh, many of the people were multitasking. They were the same people were doing the, the rigs for the characters, uh, the controls for the characters, and doing also some effects and making all kinds of different tools. And, and so we were wearing different hats, and it wasn't like a very constructed, like a very precise uh, formula, like uh, we were work coming to work at different times. Some people preferred to work at nights, so it was very like a uh, uh, fun, kind of like a college experience, I, I imagine, like uh, very creative. Um, but uh, then I had, when we worked with the team in France, I saw how very, like, I saw how more professional they are. But I think there's, it's, it's good to have both, to have that freedom and the creativity, but also have very uh, structured way of working and try to, to, to use the best of both of these worlds. Well, Mr. Yoshiura, if I may, I also have a question to you. クロステ市처럼가지않는길을각자의나라에서애니메이션을하고있는것같은데요 uh, but Mr. Yoshibura, you are creating your animation in the country of Japan. And in this country, I think the process is already being established. Therefore, uh, Mr. Yoshibura, I would like to know are there anything special or any uh, the unique elements uh, that you have? That's the question that I would like to ask. Anything uh, unique to you? Well, that's a very tough question. Well, I've always had what I wanted to create. Well, as for myself, when I create animation film, as for uh, at this moment, I have been uh, making my original uh, other film. Uh, it's not that I'm uh, turning a comics or a manga into an animation. And that I think is quite better. Uh, well, I'm uh, rather the minority uh, because usually uh, in this Japanese animation industry, animation are being made out of the, uh, uh, the works being created by others. So it, it may be natural to you, especially for those who are in no buses, uh, but actually for the directors themselves to have something to uh, that they would like to uh, create. I think that uh, uh, I, am in I want to create uh, something of my own. Uh, so that actually is the uniqueness of your own. Yes, I would say so. It's very challenging in the past, uh, but as much as possible, I would like to stick to that. 
uh, policy as much as possible. Well, thank you very much for that. Thank you, thank you. No, I will also I would like to ask you this question to you, Mr. Oshiura. Well, what do you think is, is necessary if we're animation director? This is going to be the question to be directed to the rest of you as well. well uh, the detailed techniques or the methodology. Aside from them, I believe uh, that whether you have something that you will be to create no matter what, I think it matters. Animation takes time. You have to face uh, tons of staff members as well. Therefore, if you have uh, the strong feeling uh, that uh, you have to have that strong feeling of wanting to create something. Without that, I think you would not be able to do it. I think that's an essential thing. Well, thank you very much. What about you, Mr. Thomas? What do you think is necessary as an animation director? Uh, in, in my case, I think uh, the way the way I see the world is connected to the way I work with the work with I do my animations, and they are really connected because uh, I see something on the street, I see someone react, and immediately I'm thinking, oh, this could be an animation, this could be a story, this could be something. And my sister uh, joked that I'm married to animation in that sense because I'm always thinking about animation and. I think necessary in the sense uh, uh, is the idea of, of that hunger to create, that desire to do elements, to try something new. Uh, because I never went to uh, animation schooling in specific, and I had to learn it by myself. That also teach me uh, the idea of uh, learning through making, the idea of trying different stuff, different elements. And I think that's very necessary in animation, even if you do one specific style, one specific technique, that idea of growing your work and that also evolving into that. So I think it's, those are elements that are very necessary uh, in my case, uh, because it has a lot of different sequence and different elements that are hand-drawn. Patience is something. Uh, I, my, my best friend oh, uh, he's also come from fine arts. We met in, in, in art school. And he always wanted to do animation, transition to animation, but he doesn't have the patience. And I always trying to teach him, oh, you could do this, you can add more frames, and he gets uh, like a tire or he doesn't understand it in that sense, and he, he, he doesn't get into that and he doesn't realize it. So I think patience is something that is very necessary in, in the process of making, in the process of understanding what a story could be. So those elements, in my opinion. ありがとうございます。あの、では、アンジェフン監督はどうですか、監督。Yeah, do you think is necessary as a director? あ、じゃあ、小枝弘和監督にくはしん well, recently, I, well, I remember at the words of director Koeda. Well, after we are done watching the film, the people, well, uh, well, uh, he said that he wouldn't want to create a film that wouldn't leave any impression onto the audience. That was the word of Director Koeda. Well, I think it's important uh, that we let people have a hope. Well, not only myself, but the colleagues, the friends, or everyone who needs to be able to have a hope through my works. That is something that I cherish very much. Well, you, that means that well, uh, there are uh, many well, unfortunate events going on in the world, uh, but I, I think it's going to be difficult for you to do so if you do not have hope uh, uh, at all times. 
in your personal life, or else I don't think you will be able to create a film that would, NA, that would let people have hope. 일어나는 크게는 전쟁 같은 것들, 작게는 제가 이렇게 뭐야 그래도 직업인으로 생활하는 것들에서 크고 작은 아픔들이 너무 많은데요. Well, actually, myself, yes, at the, well, for example, there are things including words and, uh, and also the minor things. Lots of things are going on uh, right now in the world. Uh, but uh, the novelist uh, has a pen, and just like that, we, animation director, uh, has this mission uh, to uh, give a hope to people. I may uh, fail, uh, but by drawing uh, the picture which I'm good at, I, I hope that people would be able to have such hope. Thank you very much for that. What about you, Mr. Gins? So what do you think is necessary as a director? Um, I don't think there's one uh, universal kind of advice to give every type of director because uh, people are different. But what I... Uh, my journey was kind of uh, making films myself, and that's why I wanted to make my first feature away myself, because then I could try all these different techniques, uh, the music and the sound and animation and everything, even though I may not have been an expert at any of these, but I think I understood the basics and it helped me to communicate later with the team, uh, understood their language and uh, understood their thought process. So that to me was very important to understand the basics because I think you can learn the basics very quickly, uh, maybe in just a few days, uh, but to become an expert, it takes years. But I think the director has to kind of at least have some understanding of all that. And also one other thing uh, I was worried about is I heard advice from other filmmakers that a director should always know what they want and have a very clear uh, like uh, intention. But I felt I didn't have this. I, I had to like discover the film. Um, but that's why I need to spend that time making the animatic before production. Uh, during this process, I can kind of figure out what the film is. And then I have a clear idea of everything and I can also, it helps me to articulate myself and to kind of communicate my thoughts. Sometimes it's easier to show that with... Uh, you don't always have to use words. Sometimes you can show images or sounds or music. And so that was my approach. Uh, and I realized that maybe uh, like other directors don't always know exactly what they want, but they go through this process and you have to like spend a lot of time and effort and maybe eventually you'll figure it out. Um, but yeah, I, I think it's all a struggle for everyone, I, even for like established filmmakers. They, they're still trying to figure it out, I think. Thank you. Then this is the final question. Are there any um, themes uh, that you would like to try in the future work? Um, it can be a near future or far future. Are there any themes that you would like to try? Also, uh, Ginza, can you please respond first? Any things, uh, like uh, any ideas or, or techniques? What, what? Uh, so, uh, idea, theme. Um, yes, ideas, uh, themes. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, I'd like to try, um, yeah, my next film is animation again, uh, and I'm kind of pushing uh, the techniques I've established in flow a lot further. It's quite ambitious. Uh, I'm, I'm using dialogues for the first time, which I've never done, but still it's a very visual film. Uh, the dialogues are only there where, the, where it's really necessary. If I can find a way to convey these ideas with images, I try to do that. But if there's, it makes more sense to use words, then I use words. And uh, so I will also, for the first time, work with actors, which uh, I'm excited about, but also a little bit afraid. So, uh, but I think it's important to do things that make you afraid, because otherwise you end up making the same film all the time and not trying new things. So I think you have to challenge yourself. 
Um, I'd like to, maybe later, I'd like to do some live action film as well, but right now I'm kind of focusing on animation because uh, these stories, I, th I think, are better suited for animation. Uh, like, flow mm. could only be done in animation. Mm. And right. my next film, I think, as well. Mm. Uh, but if a right story comes around, then, uh, then it kind of dictates what technique mm -hmm. uh, or uh, medium I will right. use. Thank you. So, um, in your work, uh, dialogue has never appeared, so I think people in the world will be surprised. Yes, um, uh, but uh, I was also quite afraid of using dialogue. Uh, it's not one of my, it doesn't come naturally to me. Uh, I think in terms of images first, and I'm very visually minded. Um, but uh, I want to, yeah, I want to challenge myself. And I think people will still recognize some of the, the same uh, ways of telling stories I've done before. And it will not be like a completely different film. So it's just an evolution of my style. Thank you. Are there anything that you would like to try in the future? I believe that your next work is getting close to completion. Well, the Green Days it was uh, the short an animation that I've worked in the past. The Green Days, Dinosaur and I. The Green Days, Dinosaur and I. The Green Days, But what I'm preparing right now uh, is called a Sarawo. It's a Korean uh, the work. Well, uh, well, this is the story of uh, the person uh, who is the boy in the 20s who lives in uh, the Seoul, the modern day Seoul. I wanted to do this work, but I was thinking of an apartment. I was thinking of the people who are growing up, but the people who are growing up are still living. 먼 미래의 한국에는 어떤 것일까 여기에서 이야기를 시작하려고 그냥 생각을 하고 있습니다. 또 기가가 아래바 또 공부하는 것이 또 이만한 사회 특이 남몬 또 이만한 at the condominium or state apartment and has been uh, built continuously. Uh, therefore, I would like to uh, uh, depict uh, that topic as the theme of my next work in the future. Yes, I have worked on a at this time, uh, the work that I'm preparing is an, a, a film about Hong Kong. Yeah, it's a very uh, famous uh, the film which I'm trying to convert into animation. That's what I'm focused on here right now. Thank you very much for that. What about you, Mr. Thomas? Uh, anything that you would like to work in the future? Uh, more than themes uh, is more uh, challenges in the sense of uh, in the past I used to work by myself. Uh, the, all the short films that I did, I did them on my own. This is the first time I've been collaborating, but my next feature, which is something that I'm writing and in the process of writing, is going to be directed uh, together with another person. And she was also an animator in this one, in this feature in Olivia and the Clouds. And that idea of taking collaboration further, that not, that not only the animators in a thing are putting their input into the process, but also collaborate, collaborating in the decision making is a new challenge for me, you know, a way to understand it. Also in the sense of te uh, visual technique and style, I like, would like to continue playing with different techniques, but also would like to play more with hand-drawn stuff or more handcrafted stuff than mix it in with digital to see if I can find new ways of telling story that way or incorporating different handcrafted techniques, but without 
adding elements in digital elements to it or having to use digital to combine both of them. Uh, also, in terms of in terms of story, in terms of uh, actors and elements, the the story we we still haven't figured out quite yet what it is because we are in the writing process. But it will incorporate elements from the past, from my own country in the Dominican Republic in the past, and also it will incorporate elements from immigration from other countries to the Dominican Republic and from my country to other other places. So. It will have uh, voices and languages from other countries that I do not know how to speak them, and cultures that come from other places that I don't know. So it's a challenge for me to understand how to incorporate that, those elements into a film. And it will be a process that I'm very looking forward to, to see, to, to live in the sense of how I can mix all these new elements into the story. It's something that really excites me in the sense of what new can I add? What, what else I can add to the process of creation? Uh, then what about Mr. Yoshiura? Well, well, I am looking into creative films. Of course, maybe it might be my original concept, maybe not. Uh, but aside from that, what's important is that I would be able to move the hearts of the audience. So that people would be able to feel that this is their own story. That's the movie that I would like to create. That's the premise, of course. But having said that, there is something that I would like to try out. Well, of course, uh, the short story is, or uh, the familiar story is quite good. But at the same time, well, uh, uh, well, uh, the kind of films that I like uh, is the kind of films that would be able uh, to take me away uh, far out. That's the kind of movie that I've liked. So, just like that, I would like to create the kind of film that would, that would enable me to take the audience far away. That's the kind of film that I would like to create in the future. Well, thank you very much. That's going to be a the major scale survey. Yes, it's not that I'm, it's not like I want to create a space opera, for example. But, well, in a way, well, if I share too much, that's, that's not good. There, but anyhow, that's the kind of thing that I'm quite interested in. So, uh, the distance that's, uh, uh, from the reality is going to be very long. Yes, but at the same time, I want to make sure that the audience would be able to feel that, that this story is on, uh, their own story. That's what I would like to create. Thank you very much. That's all for the dialogue. And starting uh, from here, we would like to take some questions from the audience. So, if you have any questions, uh, we would like to ask you to raise your hand. So, if you have any questions, would you please raise your hand? Anyone? Over there uh, with the black t shirt, with the mask. Well, thank you very much uh, for uh, this event. So if that's too difficult for you to answer, you don't have to respond to my questions about uh, the works that you are creating. Do you take it as an art or do you take it or, uh, or do you see it as an entertainment? It's a question that I have. So that's the question directed to everyone. What about you, Mr. Gins? Do you see your work as a piece of uh, art or entertainment? The question about your work, do you see that as an entertainment or the piece of art? Maybe it's difficult uh, to choose between the two. Maybe you might want to share us with the percentage. Maybe a certain percentage is at uh, the piece of art, maybe? Um, yeah, I, I, I've been asked if it's a film for like families or if it's for adults, and I think it can be both. Like usually film, you're made to choose, but I think films can be both, and different kind of audiences can get different kind of things from it. But I do care about, uh, like, I want to create this adventure story, and it's kind of fun. But you can have like deeper ideas within that, and they don't have you. I don't think you have to choose. They work together, and they kind of uh, uh, make each other stronger. Uh, I think, and. Um, yeah, for me, it's really, I make the film for me. It's kind of, uh, it's very selfish. <laughs> it's kind of, I do it for myself, and I hope others like it, but it's, I make the film I, I would like to see. I, I can't, 
consider how everyone will think about if, if it's art or entertainment. So it's just the film I want to see. Thank you. Then, uh, Mr. Anjefun. Well, upon creating animation, so we need to have funds injected. Therefore, the commercial perspective or say the factor would have to be incorporated. Though upon creating animation, well, if we think too much or think only about the funding, I think that's going to be too much or that would put us in a difficult position. Therefore, as a team, what's important is that we set at a common goal so that we would be able to work hard. That's the kind of thing that I always think about. Therefore, other than theatrical uh, feature films, I am also uh, continuously creating uh, the short stories as well. Or in case of the short films, I get to tackle uh, the theme that I would like to create. I try to follow my own direction. Thank you very much for that. What about you, Mr. Thomas? Um, in my case, I see it slightly different from those points uh, because I'm very shy and it's very difficult for me, even with my own friends, to communicate with words. I use visuals, I use maybe an illustration or a drawing, or I do an animation to connect with them or to, to express how I feel with them. So all my church films, and including this feature film, is a way to connect with people. It's a way to express what I have inside and to maybe create a, a connection with someone. I've seen people reacting to it and saying, oh, I felt this way, I felt this, uh, these elements in, in your film. And because this feature has a lot of personal elements, a lot of details from my own past, from my own life, and when I when I see people reacting that way, when I see people connecting in that way, is it's what I want to achieve with with this film and what I see in the film is that idea of creating a, a an element of connection and creating a way of talking with someone without words or without all these uh, barriers that I have in terms of expressing because of my own personality or my own way of being. So. Uh, using the film in that sense is what I hope to achieve and what I and how I see the film in that sense so so in that sense that's the answer in that sense, in your case, Thomas, uh, it, it's not really an entertainment, but it's more uh, like a, a, a piece of art or um, maybe it's an innovation of how you communicate with people. It's more in the sense of, uh, of communication, of uh, not communication in, in, like in the literal world, but uh, more in a depth way, like, like f creating a conversation or creating a sharing feelings. So maybe it goes m more connected to arts than entertainment, but I, I try not to see it in that sense. I try to see it as a way to connect. Thank you. Thank you. What about you? Well, my answer is going to overlap with others. These two actually are the two sides of the wheels, so whether it is entertainment or whether it is art. Well, whether what you want to convey is close to the audience or far away from the audience. There are many ways to think about it, but I think both aspects can be found in any 
a creation, of, especially when it comes to animation, you have to create or uh, draw up everything. And so I think that the elements of art will always get you involved with it. So as was uh, the three directors mentioned, I don't really distinct distinguish between the two, especially uh, when it comes to myself. As for the, uh, the, uh, the first part, I try to open up uh, to the wider audience as much as possible. Uh, but once people uh, start watching, if I'd be able uh, to bring audience uh, deeper, then uh, that would be ideal. That's the kind of uh, piece of uh, uh, creation that I try to aim at creating. Thank you very much. I hope that that answered your questions. Well, actually, the time has come, uh, therefore. I would like to ask everyone to provide us with the final comments to the audience before we close. Mr. Ginzo, please give us your closing remark to the audience here. Um, yeah, so uh, Flow is made in a place that uh, don't really make films like this. I think it's really exciting that uh, we'll see different types of films from places uh, yeah, that haven't had the chance to make films and we'll see different perspectives and different techniques and I think it's something really ex that excites me uh, that will uh, there's a yeah there's going to be very different and interesting films coming up and and flow is a very personal film to me uh, as I mentioned it's the first time uh, I uh, worked in a team before I worked alone and it's also about this character learning how to work together and I always try to make something uh, personal because it takes a long time making this film, so I have to really care about the subject. And I think uh, people also are interested in uh, seeing stories that are that feels like something special. That's not just like another job. It's not just uh, it's not just entertainment. So. Um, uh, yeah, we kind of, it, it's something that we can kind of connect with, as, as was discussed as well. And uh, so I think coming to a cinema and experiencing this kind of story without words and being able to understand it is something I find really amazing, uh, that it can work in different countries, and, and it's something that's very unique to cinema, which you can tell stories which can be understood without words. ありがとうございました。では、アンジュフン監督一言。じゃあ、アカミレ、韓国へそ、ケボンを at the Green Days, in my at the previous work at the, at the Busan at the Film Festival, I had to uh, cut the 100 minutes film into 80 minutes film as how I showed uh, that Green Days. When the film, uh, film lovers uh, come and watch the movie, they, they have certain expectation. I think about such expectation. And at this time, I came back to Japan, and when I go back to Korea, uh, I have been able to uh, I would be able to reflect the things that I have learned in Japan. Thank you very much for uh, giving me uh, the many a good idea. Uh, well, uh, the rainbows have the variety of colors, and at this time, at the TIFF, I came over uh, uh, and I would like to watch the variety of works from the variety uh, of countries. I look forward to seeing the variety of works uh, to be created in the future. What about you, Mr. Thomas? Uh, well, I've been, uh, throughout my life, I've been experiencing the world through cinema, uh, like getting to know the, their culture, getting to know the way people talk, the way the people are, their music, their colors, all these elements, uh, like the experience from all these places. And I've, I've fallen in love with, 
countries have fallen in love with movies and that whole concept of uh, even going to these places to get to know them because of the film that I've seen. And uh, Japan is, is a place like this in my life that I've, uh, I've seen. This is my first time here, and I've seen my entire life through their cinema, through, the, through their culture, and uh, I've been experiencing it that way. And I'm mentioning this because this is my first feature, and is in this film, I, I brought so much of my own culture and brought so much of the way I grew up and all these elements, and it's a way to participate in that dialogue of sharing culture through film. And it's something that I'm very honored to be able to do it at this festival and very honored to be able to share with you. So I'm very thankful for being here. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Well, I listened to the dialogue. Well, I was able to watch the other works uh, of uh, the three that was at the theater that was diverse. Well, uh, well actually, uh, the fact that the audience was able to have a shared experience uh, was very really good, and I, it reminded me that that was what I really wanted to do. Well, at the film festival uh, that provides us with this kind of opportunity is very important. And I look forward uh, to bring over my next work in this kind of festival the next time. Thank you very much for that. I look forward uh, to uh, that film coming up. So anyhow, uh, would you please stand up, everyone? Well, uh, this is uh, it for today's event. Once again, it's appreciated if you could uh, give a big uh, hand uh, to you the panelists today. Thank you very much. So this is the end of this event, but uh, director An Jae-hoon of the film Gil would like to draw a portrait of uh, the audience uh, who are here today. So if you have time after this event and if you'd like your face to be drawn, uh, we will um, take you to that um, session. I heard that uh, up to 15 people. This is the end of the event. Thank you so much for joining us. こういったあの、